Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead curve problem number 279, perfect squares. We are given an integer n and we need to find the least number of perfect squares which sums up to n. So basically for a given value of n, suppose the value is equal to n, 12, then we need to find the number of perfect squares which sum up to 12. So we need to identify which are the perfect squares so basically one is a perfect square two is not three is not four is a perfect square five is not six is not seven is not neither is eight nine is a perfect square so basically one squared is one two squared is four three squared is nine and four squared is 16 and so on right and we do not need to calculate beyond 16 because um uh, it exceeds the value 12 right so we are only gonna for the given integer n uh, we are only going to check for values less than equals to um n basically the squares which are less than equals to n which means that uh, for i ranging from zero it should range until um, the value of i i squared is less than equals to n um, not from zero but actually from one so now uh, what we do is now we need to find the values which sum up to 12 right so one um does one sum up to 12 well yes 12 one sum up to 12 right so one 12 num 12 1 sum up to 12 so basically uh, for 1 we need 12 um, ones in order to get the sum equals to 12 now what about 4 um, when we take the value 4 um, we know like uh, the remaining value left from 12 is 8 right when we subtract 4 the remaining value is equals to 8 so now for 8 we do the same thing again uh, we do the same thing repeatedly now 8 becomes our new uh, n so now for n equals to 8 what we do is we check um, uh, the for the squares perfect squares so one is a perfect square four is a perfect square which are all less than equals to 8 and then we check how many ones do we need for eight well basically we need um we need 12 ones right so we need 12 ones and then not 12 for eight we need eight ones and with four how many uh like when i take the value for eight minus four so uh, the remaining value becomes equals to 4 right so now I need to find how many can equals to 4 so basically 4 becomes an, my new n and then I start from 1 and for 1 again it's 4 and 4 um, square of 2 which is equal to 4 so basically square of 2 which is equal to 4 the remaining value will be equal to 4 minus 4 which is equal to 0 so we found our number of um, number of squares right when we take the square perfect square one uh, we need four fours we need, when we take perfect square of two which is a four we only need one four right so we take the minimum of these two values uh, which is one and then we return that value here and we actually add the value to this one because we already have one uh, case right here one and then we add the remaining uh, add the value this value from here so i get a value equals to two and then this i'm returning to this point here so this is already a one step right already a one step i have already taken one step um by subtracting to uh, four from 12 and then for eight i found the number of squares uh 
equals minimum squares which could sum up to 8 equals to 2 right so i'm gonna return a 2 and add that to the value 1 which will return me the value 3 so uh, like basically 3 becomes our minimum so i'm returning on each step i'm returning the minimum value between 1 and 4 minimum is 1 and again between um all the values of ones between 8 and 2 the minimum is 2 between 12 and 3 minimum is 3 right so eventually i return this value now let's uh, code this whole function um let, let's code our concept so um what we have here is we need a minimum value right we are basically doing a recursive function here so let me build a recursive function and we are passing on the values of n right every time uh, the value of n here is 12 then i pass this value here and then i pass this value here we are actually doing the same for the value of one i'm just not showing it because uh, it's too long it will be too long of a calculation so i just did it for these values it's it will basically be the same so now um what i do here is um we also need to store the minimum count right between these two so let min count equals to because we need the minimum value so i initially set it to infinity now for let i equals to i starting from the value one and then we move upwards as long as the perfect square is less than or equals to the value n so the perfect square is i by l is small i is less than or equals to n i plus plus increment and then i found the minimum value uh okay the current count current count is equals to um, 1 plus 1 plus the m minus i times i that is what we did here right for 12 uh, when the uh, perfect square was equals to 4 um, then um, I subtracted uh 12 uh, 4 from 12 right so that is what i'm doing i'm subtracting the perfect square from the value n and then the result i am performing uh the iterative uh, recursive function on that one again and each time i'm adding one to the result right so i'm adding one to the result from here so basically we are going to return uh our mean count but yes this is just our count we need to return a mean count what's the mean count mean count is my uh, in, uh, initialized to infinity and i need to find the minimum count so the minimum count would be the least uh, of the current count and the minimum count so far right so um mean count equals to map that minimum of mean count oops comma current current count so um for this value of one the minimum count is 12 uh, because infinity or 12 minimum is 12 right so minimum count becomes equals to 12 now for the next value where the perfect square is equals to 4 the mean count uh, is um uh, either the minimum of 12 and 3 right and 3 is the minimum so 3 becomes a min count and we return that minimum count um, so finally return solve n and also what we need a base case here so we keep on subtracting until unless we find one zero right once we find a zero we are going to return the value zero uh, because we are actually um, 
adding a one already here so for zero there is no uh, like it doesn't exist any perfect square so we are going to return zero if m equals to zero so this is now let's run our code okay um so we have these test cases here we tested for this one let's test for a value uh, our n is ranging from uh, 1 to 10,000 let's test it for a value uh, 10,000 and see what's the result here well uh, basically we got an error time limit exceeded right because uh, this recursive function we are doing um, a lot of calculation here and if you um, if you look carefully we are actually performing similar operations multiple time so every time we call um, open and a value of m so i am doing the calculation for um i equals to one so i'm every time i'm calculating the um like the sum which is like basically i am repeating a lot of works here so the work that i'm repeating here is yeah so i'm repeating a lot of work and to minimize the number of work that we do we could use memoization so all we need to do is we need to create an array of length n plus one and initialize all of the values to minus one and here we check if mem m is not equals to minus one we return return the value in our memory so that we do not perform any of these operations here and then uh, before we return our minimum count for the value of n we need to store that uh, minimum count in our um, deep um, in our memorization array so n equals to min count in the calculation again so now let's run our code and see the result great so we found our um, result for even this large value right because we use memorization